I'm joined today by my friend Colin McCullough, who's going to talk about a fabulous program we have coming up, all about smoothies that taste like Girl Scout cookies. Now, we already had smoothies that taste like desserts, but this has taken it to another level. Colin, I know you were telling me that you've actually started and you, you've written the, you know, kind of a mini cookbook, if you will, that you're going to be self-publishing as soon as, you know, things that the stars align correctly and everything works. Um, but you've been doing a lot of research to get these flavors just right. So right. how are you, uh, how are you inspired? Like this is kind of a genius idea to have a smoothie that tastes like a Girl Scout cookie. Um, tell us about, you know, tell us about the occasion when this actually happened when it came to you. Sure. Well, actually, I was writing recipes, the dessert recipes for um, the cookbook that uh, has, has been published, uh, the Healthy Vegan Cookbook, and there's 30 different smoothie recipes in there. They're really designed to taste like dessert. So, you know, we, we did some of those in one of the previous classes, but um, when I was writing one of the recipes, I tried to make um, a smoothie that tasted like peanut butter cookies. And uh, so I really liked uh, the recipe, how it came out that's in the book. Uh, but, you know, as I was writing the recipe and trying it out, you know, I, I really thought like, hmm, this kind of tastes somewhat like the, the peanut butter Girl Scout cookie. And so uh, I decided to try and tweak it and... Um, see if I see how close I could get, you know? Um, and so uh, I was so excited, you know, I, I got just like just the right combination and it's so good. It was great. And it uses all whole food, healthy ingredients. Uh, so it's it, even better than a Girl Scout cookie. It tastes like a Girl <laughs> Scout cookie, but it like takes it to another level. That's yeah. awesome. Very yeah, cool. So, I mean, who doesn't love Girl Scout cookies, but you know, um, from a health standpoint, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to, to indulge, uh, sometimes. So if you can have something that's healthy, that tastes, you know, pretty similar to that, then that's great. So when I, I wrote that first recipe and I thought, well, you know, let me try it just as kind of a challenge. Um, there's 10 different Girl Scout recipes, Girl Scout, uh, cookie recipes and, um, or flavors, I should say. And so I sort of set about as a challenge of, you know, can I recreate the flavors of each one of these things, uh, each one of these cookie flavors, uh, but with whole food healthy ingredients. And um, so I was, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time working on that. Uh, my kids got to, to be my uh, taste testers quite a bit, you know, which I'm sure that was not hard to convince them to do. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I wrote out and tested the, the 10 recipes and so I wrote the whole little mini book out and all the pictures are taken. So now it's just being edited and then I'll uh, self self publish that on Amazon. But yeah, it, it's been a fun little project. And people who attend this class will get to learn four of them. I assume that's what we've been doing for the previous ones. Yes. So, yep. A yep. teaser. Out of 10. Almost half of the, of the book. That's, that's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I teach a lot of uh, cooking classes at, at libraries and I do the smoothies classes a lot, but the, the Girl Scout cookie one is one that I've only done. I've only taught a couple of times. Uh, so we are in a, an elite crew here. Very cool. <laughs> Which was your, your, your son's favorite uh, Girl Scout cookie recipe? Did, did, was there one that stood out? I think probably either the, the lemon cookie one or the peanut butter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my favorite is always the chocolate mint, the thin mint. The thin mint. Yeah, I think that'd be mine too. That is always awesome. Yeah. I know people really love the, uh, in, my, in my family, the thanks a lot, which actually doesn't, has never really been my favorite. I think it's just a sugar cookie, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. But what's the... Uh, I'm trying to remember uh, all the, I, I had one of those chocolate peanut butter ones the other day and you know, it was, I had to stop, but well, I had to stop because the box was empty, honestly. But, <laughs> um, yeah. What's the, the Samoan? Was that the one with the coconut? Did you create that one? I or did, yeah. What is the Samoan again? I, remind us. It's, it's chocolate, a coconut, coconut and chocolate and um, uh, it's not toffee, it's uh, caramel in it. Oh, that sounds really good. Yeah. So, yeah. You can, can recreate it. <laughs> All right. Very exciting. 
Well, I'm really looking forward to it. Who doesn't love a smoothie? Who doesn't love a Girl Scout cookie? It's like the perfect combination. Of, That's right. And you know, know, Girl Scout cookies only come out once a year. So if you make the smoothies and you can have the flavors all year round. That's right. And I was thinking, you know, oh, you could put Girl Scout cookies inside of ice cream, but who needs to put them in ice cream when you can put in a smoothie? I mean, it's like, it's like everything that you like about ice cream, but drinkable. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you know, when I, uh, when I had the idea to do it, then I was looking around online and said, oh, somebody must have thought of this already. Somebody must have come up with it. And, uh, you know, all the recipes that I could find were uh, take milk and Girl Scout cookies and put it in a blender. And there's a <laughs> cookie. Mm, no, no, no. How it works. <laughs> That's right. Let's go back to the fundamentals, people. This is coconut. This is chocolate. This is sugar. Right. That's right. Now, like with the caramel, with the, with the Samoan, I know that you don't like to use refined sugars even. You like to do these as healthy as possible. I'm sure there's a lot of refined sugar in Girl Scout cookies. Um, there are, yeah. Do yeah. You, so I so use, you figured yeah. out, yeah, what have you figured out? Uh, so I use dates for that. Uh, you know, in all of the smoothies that I use, I don't use any refined sugar, agave, maple syrup, or any of that. I just use uh, dates, which is a uh, whole food healthy sweetener. So uh, that's definitely in a number of these smoothies. Uh, you know, one thing I say with these smoothies is these ones are fancy. So these are not going to be the, you know, put a bunch of things together in two minutes and, and make it. You know, it does require some prep time ahead of time. You know, it's not the easiest thing in the world to, uh, you know, make a bunch of healthy ingredients taste like a, a Girl Scout cookie. So it does take a little bit of prep time, but it's all well worth it. And they're really, they're fancy and they're, you know, really nice treats to have. Well, I'm super excited. People can certainly go out and check out our previous classes. Um, they're out here on YouTube. If they can come to our site and just look for the adult programs playlist. Uh, and I'll share the links with you, Colin, so that you can make sure you saw them all. But they, they finished all the post-production work, so they look really slick, I think. Excellent. Um, and I was just looking at it, and I know that we have the smoothies that taste like desserts out there right now. So people who are enticed by this and just can't wait to learn about how to make the Girl Scout cookies, they can go and find... I wouldn't call them simple, but it sounds like they're going to be simpler recipes than what we're going to get with this one, which is going to be super exciting. I can't wait to like step up. I'm going to feel like the previous, we already stepped up. I know our smoothie game in the house. Um, and this is just going to take us to another level. So it's very cool. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Great. Well, I know I would be remiss if we didn't give a shout out to the Friends of the Library for helping make this happen. Uh, and also a thanks to the Boston Vegetarian Society for co-sponsoring this with, uh, with us. We know that they love uh, figuring out how to promote plant-based diets, which is something that we, you know, we all share. Um, and it's, you know, it's great for so many reasons. It's great for the planet. It's great for us individually. And I uh, really just love having the BVS as a sponsor. So I um, appreciate them giving a shout out. And, uh, That's great. Appreciate their support. So Colin, thanks so much. I'm really looking forward to it. And I know we'll be enjoying smoothies together sometime soon. Thank you. All right. Sounds great.